Hi, I'm Dr. Chelsea Ellis, medical microbiologist at Horizons, the Moncton Hospital. So have the COVID vaccines really gone through the rigorous testing that, you know, we've heard experts say? Absolutely. They, the COVID-19 vaccines for both adults and youth uh, were developed in record time, but that doesn't mean that any of the rigorous testing was uh, compromised. So typically when a vaccine is developed, it undergoes phase one, phase two, and phase three trials, one after another, oftentimes with a pause in between the phases. But due to the urgency of um, having a COVID-19 vaccine, the phases actually overlapped with each other. So phase two started before phase one was finished and phase three started before phase two was finished. So the same uh, phase phases of study were completed, but the time frame was shortened because of the overlapping of the phases. Also, the scientific data was thoroughly reviewed immediately as it became available. It didn't sit in a queue or sit on a shelf. There was no time lost to review the data and to get the COVID-19 vaccine approved and into arms as quickly as possible. So, you know, I've seen a lot of people on social media say that they've done their own research. What are your sort of comments when when you hear that? So I've said this before, that we're accustomed to relying on experts and professionals in many aspects of our lives for our taxes, for building houses, for fixing our broken teeth. And the same has to be true for seeking information on vaccines and COVID-19. It's so important to, to uh, seek information from reputable sources and from experts who have uh, the knowledge to, to give reliable information, including peer-reviewed literature that has undergone a rigorous scientific process. Um, a scientific conclusion is never drawn on the results of a single isolated study, particularly if that study was not challenged or peer-reviewed. So do teens get the same dose as adults? And what about children when the vaccine's available to them? Do they get the same dose? Yes, persons aged 12 to 17 get the same dose as an adult does. For the youth aged 5 to 11, the vaccine um, is being studied at a lower dose, and it's approximately one third of the dose that the adults and teenagers are receiving. So for example, a 43-year-old receives the same dose as a 15 year old, whereas a six year old would get about one third of that dose. Is COVID vaccination just as effective then for children and teens as it is for adults? So like adults, youth are well protected against COVID-19 virus 14 days after they receive their full dose of vaccines. Once fully vaccinated, those who do get infected with COVID-19 often have no symptoms or very mild symptoms. The clinical trials have shown in uh, youth aged 12 and over that it was highly effective at protecting against COVID-19. Are the side effects in children similar to those experienced in adults? So side effects are the body's natural response to a vaccine. Some people have no side effects, while other people uh, may have some type of reaction. So it is common to um, see side effects in all age groups one to three days after receiving the COVID vaccine. Although they're not serious to your health, they can certainly make you feel unwell for a day or two, or you may experience a little bit of discomfort. However, these side effects are certainly worth it in an effort to protect yourself from the most devastating effects of COVID-19. My child is very scared of needles. So is there, is there anything that can be done to help get pushed through and, and help my child get the vaccine when it becomes available to them? As a parent, I know that needles can certainly be distressing to the child and sometimes to the parent as well, watching their child have a needle. But certainly there are things that we can do to help a child who is nervous or having some fear about receiving the COVID vaccine. So one thing certainly that can be done is parents can play a huge role in encouraging their children to get the vaccine and discussing with them what to expect when they do arrive at the appointment. And also Horizon can accommodate individuals who have special circumstances around needles and fears. We can make arrangements to have the vaccine administered laying down or in a private area. So certainly let your vaccine administrator know when you arrive if there's any special circumstances that would help make the entire experience a positive one.